So who is in the PR crisis? Is it Taylor Swift or is it Ticketmaster? Here's a tell. If you write a statement about an incident or an event and that statement disappears, you're in a PR crisis. Now that statement could disappear because it's on Instagram stories, which is where you're going to find statements that people don't want hanging around. Sure, you can screenshot it, um, but it's not easy to copy and paste these and they go away. Now Taylor Swift, let's go through her statement here. Disclaimer first, apologies for the delay. I've been sick, but so have all the Swifties who didn't get their tickets. I know you've all seen the statement, but pause to read. When I write a public relations response to a crisis, I follow a framework. I call it the indestructible PR framework. It's a way to get through a crisis where they do not bring you down. It's own it, explain it, promise it. Now Taylor, when she goes through, she also has a formula, but she uses in the first part, she doesn't own it, she frames it. She starts talking about the fans. Well, it goes without saying that I'm extremely protective of my, fan, of my fans. That is framing that her stance is all going to be in a defensive crouch supporting her fans against the this paragraph, which is blame it. This is normally where I'd explain it, but here she wants to blame it. And she's blaming Ticketmaster, though not by name. She's just talking about the entity. We don't know why she's not naming Ticketmaster, but likely legal reasons. And also um, all the charges against Ticketmaster, you know, being a monopoly. It's not just a monopoly for um, fans, but it also is for bands. They have a lot of power. So you really, if you're an artist, you do not want to go against uh, Ticketmaster. Uh, look no further than Pearl Jam when they tried to do that and it cost them millions of dollars. So now in um, the third part though, which aligns with my framework, which is she promises. She's promising her fans in the future that she wants to make changes. Now here's the slick PR move. While she's blaming Ticketmaster, that is a deflection from what everyone was talking about 24 hours ago, and that was dynamic pricing. You notice that the pricing really isn't in here. It's really about Ticketmaster mismanaging the tickets, but there's no mention about more for part two.